The governor, Babajide Songolu, has warned residents against crossing the electrified road tracks when full operations take off. Songolu re-echoed this warning during the commissioning of the inaugural phase of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit at the Igomu National Theatre Station here in the state. Plus, the Venice correspondent, Love Ikuku Oyedokun, was there and now reports. the National Theatre Rail Station, Orile Gomu. People from all walks of life, including government functionaries, are here to witness the substantial completion of civil infrastructure for the first phase of Lagos Rail Mass Transit Blue Line Rail. The moment signpost a nostalgic feeling of sorts for Governor Sowunlu as he arrives the venue. Addressing the people, Governor Sawunlu says the ceremony is just a test run of the infrastructure ahead of the official commissioning next month. He warns residents against crossing the electrified rail tracks. The rail corridor will be powered by electricity to be supplied by a standalone IPP. And the IPP plant is just right behind us and is also nearing completion. The blue line, no doubt, has had an interesting story with many delays in along the journey line, which I must say were not due to lack of enthusiasm or commitment from the part of the Lagos State. It will not, we will not dwell on the challenges. We have put them behind us and we have formed a new focus. Engineer Abimbola Akiajo is the managing director of Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata. She describes the construction of the Blue Line as the most challenging project the Lagos State Government has ever embarked upon. To get to this point, we have had disturbances and delays in the relocation of submarine cables, submarine gas pipelines, and removal of underwater shipwreck days as we cross, as we completed the sea crossing. The submarine geological conditions are complex thus making the construction in the lagoon extremely difficult. But as a state, we never give up. We fought on and we're here today. In their goodwill messages, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, and the Chinese Consulate General in Lagos, Chu Maomin, commended Governor Sawunlu for his vision and foresight. When you look at the benefits of what we are doing, if you are a Lagosian and you are used to our daily traffic, definitely you will agree with me that Lagosian has received a very tangible Christmas grief from our governor. We will continue to encourage Chinese companies to be involved in the process of Nigerian economic development and the improvement of people's livelihood. The governor and some dignitaries make an important phase test running on the Blue Line. The test run is to ensure that everything is in place and in order for the kick-off of full commercial operations. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.